Hey guys, hi, happy Training Tuesday. I'm Kim Irwin, I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne International, and I appreciate you being with me today. So I wanna talk about sunscreen. We are coming into the, the sunny months, spring breaks right around the corner. And so I have a question for you. Why, <laughs> why would somebody put a handful of chemicals all over their body to protect them from the damaging rays of the sun. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't get it. So I, I did a little bit of, I, this isn't gonna be a long or involved one. I'm not gonna pretend that I know everything there is about sunscreens, but I do know a little bit about them. And I also did a little bit of test uh, checking on them as well. I went to Amazon. I just wanted to see, okay, sunscreens, what do you have? How much are they? Things like that. Um, so here's a Neutrogena that's 6.7 ounces. It costs $9. It does say that it is PABA free, which is good. Okay. Non-comedogenic. It does have fragrance in it. It does have avobenzoin, benzone in it. It does have homosalate, octisalate, octocrylene. And here's the kicker. Oxybenzone. Oxybenzone's bad stuff, guys. It has been known to uh, cause hormone disruption. In addition to all kinds of other things, I started digging into the FDA and what they will allow, what they won't allow. There's still all kinds of conversation about it. But very honestly, that one alone, okay? You don't want to have that in there. You don't want parabens in there, right? So that's Neutrogena. Like, I didn't even look at the cheapest stuff. Here's another one. I'm not familiar with this, but it's called Elta. Not Ulta, but Elta, E-L-T-A, for 1.7 ounces. Okay, this is small, <laughs> $37. Now, I will tell you that had a lot of really um, comforting, uh, what's the word, notifications on the outside of the bottle. It told you that it was free of this and free of that. So it looked like it was fairly, relatively healthy, um, or safe, I should say. And then, like, Sun Bum. I love sun bum and that they talk about being vegan and um, and theirs is eight ounces is $16. So I wanted to just kind of get a reference point with some of that stuff. But the fact of the matter is you can, you can buy sunscreen anywhere and you need to be really, really careful to find out what chemicals are in it. Because once again, why would you think it's okay to squirt all of this chemical in your hand, rub it all over your body to protect you from damaging rays of the sun. Not when you have alternatives to use. And I'm wildly excited because Arbonne has just come out with this new improved adult sunscreen that we have. And, you know, we've got a baby care line where people used to use just the, the baby care sunscreen because it was so effective. And I'm talking about like, this was years and years and years ago. It was, we used it back then. It was the best sunscreen we had ever used, honestly. But we have this new one. It's called Fun Sun Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. It is um, at broad, sun, broad Spectrum SPF 30. So here's the kicker with this. This has got next generation 19% zinc oxide in it. It is a mineral sunscreen agent, and that's what gives it the SPF protection. But the reason why people didn't really like to put this, the products with zinc oxide on is because it would leave a film and, you know, people want to just spray it so, it, you know, it doesn't leave a film while well, you're spraying chemicals all over the place. This one, they've also added aloe vera leaf juice and green tea. That helps hydrate and soothe your skin. And then also um, a euphorbia serifera <laughs> wax. So that helps it adhere to the skin and also helps it be have some water repelling benefits to it as well. So um, my point is, and, and you can leave this on, I mean, it's not like you have to put this on every 15 minutes. You reapply every couple hours or 40 minutes if you've been swimming or sweating um, to have the most optimal sun protection. But <sighs> this is safe. 
Arbonne is not going to put a product out that has any of these chemicals. And that one chemical that I told you, I did see it in a lot of sunscreens. And I'm going to say it to you again so that you can go to your cabinet and take a look at the back in the ingredient list of um, the products that you have that you have been spraying or rubbing on your body. Oxybenzone. Okay. And I'm going to let you do the homework on that. Go in there. Take a look at the, the bad stuff that's out there, guys. Um, and there, there's no reason to use it when you have good alternatives. And ours, for price comparison, um, I want to say as a preferred client, is right around $30. And it is a, mm -mm -mm, I wrote this down, five ounces of it. And I can tell you that Arbonne's products, you have to use very little because it's so concentrated. So that is five ounces, about $30. And... Um, you know, instead of putting that handful of chemicals on and rubbing it into your body, why not put the zinc oxide, 19% of the next generation zinc oxide that has um, other ingredients that are going to soothe your skin, that are really going to make it not like stick all over your body and look white like people are afraid of. So anyway, spring break is coming. Make some good choices with this because we all want to get out in the sun. We all want to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. So um, you've got options. Take advantage of them. Protect yourself. Protect your family. And use products that are safe. Okay, there you go. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thanks for joining me. I will talk to you again next week.